Okay, I think you can see this. It almost looks like a, a break in a piece of glass. But what it is, is the edge of a one inch end mill. And it feels sharp to the touch, but I think you can see just how kind of terrible it is. Okay, let's stand back here and see what we're looking through. And I think this is nothing but cool. I've had this for a really long time. And it's absolutely the thing in 1933. It's a, a Spencer Buffalo stereo microscope. Or binocular microscope. And it's got, it's got super fine feed. The thing is built like uh, with precision. And it's got the stage here, see? Like a milling machine. <laughs> well, the advantage to having that is you can really kind of start reading your cutters a little bit better. And there's uh, several ways to grind things. And I've had people jump me, and it irritates me, about uh, grinding the wrong way. And I like to grind into the cutting edge because I've learned through several disciplines that that is the best way to sharpen rather than grinding away from the cutting edge. Then there's, you know, a couple of different kinds of grinds, too. There's a hollow grind, which is uh, created with a round wheel, such as this, here, see. Then you do a flat grind with a, is a diamond cup wheel here. Now, the flat grind gives generally a stronger edge but a hollow ground you can get a sharper edge and an edge that you can maintain uh, uh, by uh, honing if you if you wish to and uh, to kind of show uh, a big example of a hollow ground uh, knife I have here and let's get that out and it's a famous one too it's as old as this machine it's a k-bar it's a real thing too it says k-bar on it no, it's U.S. Navy Mark II k-bar right there well this is hollow ground along the edge here this is something else, but this is hollow ground here with a, a round wheel. But it kind of ends up, it doesn't uh, matter a huge a lot, but it's easier to sharpen this edge rather than a, a flat edge. And I can show you another example of a uh, edge. Let me find that one. This one, this is a really old design too. And um, they're both um, for the same purpose. And, um, but uh, one's of a different design and, and thought, you know, and uh, kind of more specialized. This one here does the same thing, plus, you know, opens a can of beans. But this one's not good for beans. So I'll put that over here. Let's set that down there. You don't want that falling off on your foot, this one either. But that's a hollow ground, and the other one was flat ground. And we'll put that back. So, it, you know, it just depends. But one of the things I wanted to point out you can get ahead of the game with a little bit of magnification. And uh, if you can find a microscope 
that has the right magnification range. And I'll point that out real quick now. Now, these uh, eyepieces are 10 power, and that's uh, standard. And so you look at the objectives here, and this one here says 10x. This one over here will say 4, and this one here will say 3. So this one here is 30 power, 3 times that. This one here, it says 10 is 100 power. And uh, the other one there is 40. So I got 30, 40, and 100. And I can really inspect those edges. You really can't see it through the GoPro. But uh, maybe sometime later, I know I can adapt a... Uh, digital camera with removable lenses onto this microscope and that might be uh, I can uh, show some uh, reading the cutting edge you know you can kind of get ahead of the game uh, if you're working with difficult materials by you know getting a sample of it and kind of kicking it around a little bit and uh, like you know the pre-hard metals the pre-hards and and stuff like that. You can kick them around a little bit yourself and then get ahead of the game. And uh, when you're uh, putting out work or getting jobs requiring, you know, closer tolerances on those uh, more expensive metals, you know, uh, be ahead with the uh, tooling. Now, I'm talking about creating your own tooling, grinding your own angles and, and stuff like that. So, uh, on these cutters here, now when you sharpen a knife, you, you, uh, I'll get the old okay K-bar back out of here. You don't do it this way. You're not gonna, I don't know anybody that does, but it's like you sharpen it this way with the abrasive going across that edge and the way you get it really sharp something like this is you roll it into the stone and you feel it just start to drag and then you slice the thinnest slice off the stone you're not really slicing a stone but that's what you're attempting to do. And that's how you get things very, very sharp. But if you're going this way, it leaves a burr. And if you're grinding cutters, now the standard way to grind cutters, it says in the book, is to flip that head around there and grind it this way. And if you're at the wheel side here, you're grinding down on that. It's like sharpening a knife the wrong way. Now, I uh, am going for a little bit more of a custom deal. And I'm quite capable. And I've learned to do it. And I'm not the only one that does this, is grind it this way. Okay? Some might consider it wrong. They might consider it dangerous. But I'll tell you what, when you put this here, you see the difference. And when you put this over here, you see the difference too. But more of a difference over there on the jet bar. A lot more sensitive machine. And, uh, you know, what's the difference between the K-Bar or that, uh, what is that? It's a Fairbairn knife is angles, okay? The angles are a lot less steep here, but the edge is important. And you can really start seeing what's happening right here. This is a very important tool for me. And I just thought I'd point it out. I don't say you need to get this stuff. I don't say that you should grind 
against the grain of many people. And that's what I tend to do, but I can't help myself. <laughs> but I just explained to you why I grind this the way I do. And all I can do is show you how I'm doing things. And if you want to do things by the book, you're going to have to get a book. Okay, and that's the way that is. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to be bullied around on the deal. I do what I do my way. And if you want me to do it your way, I'm not going to do it. Get your own channel and do it your way. Okay? So, that's the way it is. I really don't care. And I think it's funny I get this thumbs down from one person on every video. It's hilarious. But that's okay. It means I'm doing my job, right? Okay. Just about, I got, you know, I can go 11 minutes and 48 seconds. And I got, I'm going on an interesting field trip tomorrow. And we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be a great video. Okay, checking out.